there are three bottles of mixture of syrup and water of ratios 2 is to 3, 3 is to 4 and 7 is to 5. 10 liters of first and 21 liters of second bottles are taken. How much quantity from the third bottle is to be taken so that the final mixture from the three bottles will be in the ratio of 1 is to 1. So basically he is talking about three bottles, right? Three bottles of uh, mixtures of syrup and water. And the ratios in these three bottles are 2 is to 3, 3 is to 4 and 7 is to 5. Now we have taken 10 liters from the first bottle and 21 liters from the second bottle. The question here is how much quantity, what quantity should be taken from the third bottle so that the final mixture of these three bottles will be in the ratio of 1 is to 1. Now not a hard problem to solve, just go by the numbers that are given here, right? We have taken 10 liters from the first bottle. See the first bottle, first bottle has got what ratio? 2 is to 3 ratio. And if you have taken 10 liters from it, 10 liters from it, can you tell me what will be the quantities? Basically divide 10 liters in the ratio of 2 is to 3. See 2 is to 3 is what? 5 parts. So 10 liters if you divide into 5 parts, each part will be 2 liters. So 2 parts will mean 4 liters and 3 parts would be 6 liters. Right? So basically the distribution of 10 liters in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is 4 is to 6. Similarly in the second bottle, what is the ratio in the second bottle? The second ratio in the second bottle is 3 is to 4, 3 is to 4. And how much have we taken? We have taken 21 liters. See all this can be done mentally, you don't have to write every step on paper. There, right? Divide 21 in the ratio of 3 is to 4, 3 and 4 is 7 parts. So 21 divided by 7 is 3 liters. Each part is 3 liters. So 3 parts would be 9 liters and 4 parts would be 12 liters. Right? So we have got 9 plus 12, 21 liters here. Now if you see, at, I mean if just the mixture of first and second bottles, right? You look at the mixture of first and second bottles. How many liters of uh, syrup do we have? So this is syrup is to water, let's say. Right? Syrup is to water, the calculations. So syrup is how much? 4 plus 9, 13 liters. And how much is the water? 6 plus 12, 18 liters. Yes or no? So after mixing the first and second bottle uh, syrup in the quantities of 10 liters and 21 liters, we have got uh, 13 liters of syrup versus 18 liters of water. Now he says how much should we take from the third bottle so that the final mixture from the three bottles is in the ratio of 1 is to 1. See the final mixture has got 1 is to 1 meaning what? The final mixture as given here has got what ratio? 1 is to 1. Which implies what? The quantity of syrup, the final quantity of syrup is equal to the quantity of water. The final quantity of syrup is equal to the final quantity of water. Right? Now what do we do? Final quantity of syrup is equal to final quantity of water. What will be the final quantity of syrup be? See, from the first two uh, bottles, we have got 13 liters of syrup. So let's say 13 liters plus. See, look at it. The third bottle has got what ratio? 7 is to 5 ratio. And let's assume we have taken Q liters from the third bottle. Right? The quantity taken from the third bottle is Q liters. From the third bottle, we have taken Q liters. Divide this in the ratio of 7 is to 5. How much will be the syrup? Syrup will be 7 out of 12 into Q. And water will be 5 out of 12 into Q. Right? So the final quantity of syrup will be 13 plus 7Q by 12. And final quantity of water will be how much? 18 liters already from the first two bottles. Plus the third bottle will have 5 by 12 into Q. That's it. Solve for Q and you will get your answer. Are you able to follow? We know that vinyl mixture has got syrup and water in the ratio of 1 is to 1. So total quantity of syrup should be equal to total quantity of water. That's what we are doing here. Quantity of syrup is equal to quantity of water. What will be the total quantity of syrup? Already 30 liters of syrup has been taken from the first two bottles. Plus in the third bottle, let us assume you have taken Q liters. So if we divide Q liters in the ratio of 7 is to 5, we will get quantity of syrup as 7 by 12 into Q and quantity of water as 5 by 12 into Q. So 13 liters plus 7 Q by 12 equals to 18 liters which has already been chosen from the first two bottles, plus 5q by 12. Now solve for this, what do we get? 7q by 12 minus 5q by 12 is equal to 2q by 12, or which is equal to q by 6. q by 6. And q by 6 equals to what? Uh, 18 minus 13 is 5. That's it. So what will be the value of q? q will be equal to 6 into 5, 13. Alright, 30 liters, option 4 will be the answer.